Hello, so we are back, and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. Huawei D14, Ryzen uh, 5 CPU. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. Now this is coming from a computer shop, and the fault is the charging port. Do you really think actually the issue is the charging port? Huh? Not sure, we're gonna see. But before we are starting, let's speak about today's video sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop solution based on the fact that all kinds of PCBs, 3D printing, CNC, sheet metal, are available from them. Every new register, they are getting $5 welcome bonus, which is about 10 PCBs. So you will get 10 PCBs for free. All you have to do is to pay for the postage. Now, I did check myself the quality of the PCBs. Now, you can see we are speaking here about top-notch uh, PCB manufacturer. You're going to find a link onto the description. Just check the link there and uh, you can register and order some PCBs. Now, back to our job. Um, I would say let's open the laptop because this is a well-known fault with the charging port and broken tracks uh, at the charging port. Let's open the laptop and have a look inside. Yeah. So the laptop, it's open. That's a classic motherboard. And uh, we're not going to have access to the charging port. I believe we have to take the motherboard out. Let me quickly take the motherboard out. Okay, so the motherboard is out. All of what is left is this connector here. Yeah, this one. Perfect. And we have access to the charging port. Now, let's see what we have there. So what do we have here? Every track is broken. Check here. You can see, and the port is moving itself. Of course, the port got melted here. Yeah. So basically, we have... Uh, here is fine. This track is broken, and it's broken exactly from this, from here. Uh, actually, you know what? Every track is broken on this motherboard. Every track is broken, you see? So we have to rebuild the tracks. And uh, the job is done. I will not replace the port. The port is fine. I know this is a common fault on uh, these Huawei laptops, D14 and D15. Now let's clean it just to make clear what is there. Now we have to make sure we have enough track to solder here. Yeah, this one is fine. This one is fine. So it's looking good. We are fine, right? Perfect. Now let's solder what we can solder. Let's apply some uh, rosin. Rosin is good. Good. I'm going to use a 190 degree solder wire. So we have those pins here. Uh, we'll be using some hot air just to be sure everything will be proper solder in place. Perfect. Let's solder uh, the pads, apply solder onto the pads. Perfect. On the sides, I want these three pins soldered together and the plus pins, which are those uh, together. Yeah, perfect. Good. Looking good, right? Let's go with hot air, 250 degrees. And now we can do some magic.
Okay, here, here is fine. Yeah. We are using this, like bridging the pins, because we need some uh, stability, like mechanical stability. You see the port actually solder. Yeah, no problem with the case of the charging port. The problem is this middle plastic. Perfect. So we have three pins together, two pins together here. Perfect. Then here is looking fine. So how is looking till now? So till now we solder plus and minus, yeah? So we have three pins on the sides, that's minus, then we have two pins, uh, is plus. So till now everything is fine. I mean, wow. Even the other pins. We're gonna check what's going on with this one, but the other pins are soldered, this one is not soldered. Yeah, but we are uh, we are good. No, I'm not happy with this one, yeah, so we'll solder a wire here. Perfect. Come on, just sit there like a good boy. Perfect. This one, I can't trust this one. Perfect. And this one. Looking good? Good. Now all what is left is to test, just to see if it's working. So we have the USB-C, plug in the USB-C, and the meter it is coming on. We have 19 volts. This board is not coming on without pressing the power button, yeah? So that's the reason why the current is not going up. But it is solid, right? Now let's finish the job. Just a little bit of UV gel. UV gel, sorry. Let's 
Looking good? Yeah. Now UV light. I'm gonna edit the video. I will just sit here with like 10 minutes with the UV light. Okay, all good. Should be fine now. Now let me put uh, the motherboard back. Now let's test it just to be sure, you know, it's charging and everything is fine. Okay, give me a few moments. Okay, everything is on place. Plug in the charger. We have 19 volts and we have like 100 milliamps. Now 100 milliamps uh, is kind of a weird charging current. The normal charging current should be probably over 1.5 amps. And we have like, like, we don't even have 100 milliamps. Check here, we have like 0 0.06. That means like 60 milliamps, which is incredibly low. And you will ask yourself, okay, maybe I did something wrong. But no, let's check the battery. You can have a very discharged battery. Just having in mind, the laptop came with a broken charging port. So the battery voltage is 11.7. So that's enough. Your battery has to have 17.6 volts, you can see. And your battery has 11 and something. Yeah, that's a very low battery. So how we can trigger the charging current, yeah? Let's go with the voltage, about 17 volts. Let's go with low current, like one amp. Yeah, something like that. And you have ground, just pay attention on the current here, yeah? Current, so ground and plus and the battery is taking 1.2 amps check that check that 2.9 amps yeah so that's how you trigger the battery basically you fool the ec chip you fool the ec chip uh, actually the battery has more voltage than it actually has and now the battery is charging with 2.9 amps we can check the voltage now the voltage is going rapidly up and the voltage now is 14, 15.2, and it's going up. You can see, quickly up. Yeah, That's how you do it. I mean, I'm assuming, you know, you are doing repairs as a business, and you don't have time to wait with a low pre-charge current, like 60 milliamps pre-charge current, like probably like one, two hours till the moment the laptop is charging. That's why I told you, you can trigger the charging uh, with, the charge, with the power supply. 2.9 amps, only the charging current. Let's power up the laptop. Pressing the power button. The current obviously is changing. And we have picture. Huh? The Windows is on. And we have the charging sign there, you can see. Yeah. So it's working fine. Yeah, you can see, even if the laptop is off, even if the laptop is on, the max current is 3 amps. That's mean 60 watts. So you have voltage, you have amps, 60 watts. So even if I power up the laptop, you can see the max current is uh, 3 amps. What does that mean? That's mean if the laptop is on, the battery it will charge slowly. But if you power off the laptop, then uh, it will get charged faster. Good, I'm happy I helped this customer. Now a few tips and tricks about soldering the charging ports. Uh, I'm using a 190 degree solder wire. This is not like a low melt solder. This is the sweet spot uh, on soldering. I mean, 190, 180, 190 is perfect. If you go lower, like 140 or 150, the solder is not that strong. If you go higher, like over 190 degrees, then it's hard to work. I mean, you really need more hot air uh, in order to solder the pins. Uh, another mistake is assuming you solder with the solder iron and assuming, okay, I soldered that. But have in mind and check how the solder looks like because many times like ground tracks or the plus track here, you, you see I have to come with the hot air and, uh, you know, help the solder iron in order to solder properly that pin. Perfect. So um, I'm going to stop here. I will say thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one. Bye.